Hey, Survivor, this your girl with Rico here. Hey, Survivor, this your girl with Rico here. Hey, Survivor, this your girl with Rico here. Hey survivors, it's your girl Rico here and today I want to talk about something that's very, it's personal to me, it's very personal to me and it's also obviously about borderline personality disorder and it's one thing that I'm going to try my hardest not to do in this video but uh, I'm already doing it <laughs> but yes, I am basically going to talk about the chameleon effect um, or mirroring depending on um, what term you use now it's personal to me because I f I'm embarrassed by it like I can't lie I can't sit here and say that I I like it I normally I get <laughs> doing videos now I see so I see it so much more because you know when you have a conversation with somebody and you're talking you're not exactly rewinding a conversation in your head all of the time and even if you are you're rewinding the things that were said not the tone that it was setting so basically what the what mirroring is basically is it says one of the biggest and most challenging aspects of borderline personality disorder bpd is often the chameleon effect or mirroring this is the constant unconscious change in the person's self as they struggle to fit in with their environment or the people around them it is essentially a fluctuating identity it is the manifestation of a basic inability or difficulty in establishing a stable sense of self now what that basically means is that we mimic a lot we can talk to someone and start acting exactly like them or mimicking their behavior or accent and any accents that you've heard or hair or whatever you you retain them and I do this a lot I do this a lot I talk in different twangs different ways I mimic people if I hear somebody talking like it on a video or movie all of a sudden I'm doing the same mannerisms throughout the house and I'm talking like them and it's really really hard obviously my beautiful and amazing partner gets me you know I've got a really good best friend Ash she gets me everybody really gets me that's in my circle but it's embarrassing you know the other day my mum was like oh I can't listen to your videos because you've been, you got a fake you got a fake accent and I'm thinking what at the time I was like what are you talking about no I don't no I don't and I look back on it and I was like wow like I do that and I know I'm probably constantly doing it now I'm not aware of it do you know what I mean until I look over the video so for me I'm just talking I'm just talking I'm just being me I'm talking I am expressing myself that I feel like I'm expressing myself and then now that I'm doing more videos and whatever else and I'm talking more and I'm editing my stuff I can hear myself but you one thing about me though is that I'm not gonna scrap it because I can't control it I'm not gonna scrap my video and say you know what let me do it again because you know I don't sound like me it's very hard to unlock that person or unlock that mannerism when I'm mirroring it just it's just impossible I'll have to kind of calm down or go to sleep or wake up and just talk normally and not basically have no influence I basically have to have no influence input so I couldn't so I don't watch anything that day you know don't watch anything don't listen to anybody don't do anything I do this with my friends everybody I'm so susceptible to other people's self their their personas and it's really really hard I just go through life now I just be me do you know what I mean I don't I hardly explain myself to, to new people that come across me you know like I was talking to someone the other day she was from um, Canada and she had a very strong Canadian accent and we were talking about my book currently looking at getting a ghostwriter to write my book and she started talking to me and by the end of that conversation I was talking exactly like her and I could hear myself and I tried my hardest to be that can get myself out like push through where is the English slang Londoner where is that person and I tried to push it forward and I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it it's so hard when people do it to me 
I, I, it doesn't bother me because I know that it could be a number of things why and people that don't have borderline personality disorder they do this a lot anyway you know it's called FAS they do this anyway you don't need to have a mental disorder to mimic somebody sometimes people do it to try and make the other person feel comfortable if they have really bad broken English and they're not really saying things the right way you know some people try and mimic that way so they can better understand that person people do this all of the time it's just a little bit more on the higher side when you have borderline personality disorder and it goes on to say the presence of the chameleon is often one of the main obstacles to affect initial treatment and diagnose borderline personality disorder as it affects the interactions between patients and doctors and can mask the disorder itself it also affects and masks the way in which borderline personality disorder intersects with other disorders that may have developed in connection with it creating a complex web of behaviors that can be hard to untangle the irony is that without diagnosis and treatment most are unaware of the chameleon effect and it is only through awareness that the comedian can be managed like wow if I was to talk to a normal person and have a conversation with them I can mimic them and then if I was to go and see my doctor afterwards and say oh you know this has been going on but I'm presenting as a very rational thoughtful person because I've just spoken to a rational thoughtful person as it says there it can basically mess up me getting diagnosed and whatever else lucky for me that didn't happen at the time I think I was going through such a crisis that I was getting I was getting that diagnosis no matter what <laughs> but you know I got some criticism not so long ago and I thought to myself whoa maybe it's time for me to talk about this because I really just let it go and a lot of people might not even think it's a problem people might think oh you know she's just putting it on or maybe that's just that's just weird or whatever they might just be dismissive or they might just know me long enough to know that you know that's just her thing and not really know there's something behind it but there is something behind it it's very very hard you know it's fluctuating I can hear myself now and I feel like I'm talking more like myself now and just you know it can be like that it can be like that and I've trained myself very 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 strict I've trained myself to pick it up unfortunately I can't train myself to stop it but I've trained myself to to think and say did I say that in my way and did it sound like me and am I doing my own hand gestures and signs and, and body language and eye movements and whatever it's exhausting it really is exhausting to be like that to 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 having to like manage myself or I feel like it needs to be more people need to be more aware some people are just not putting it on you know some people don't go around and say oh I'm just gonna be acting like another person today because you know that's what I want to do some people are struggling with something inside um internally and they themselves feel bad enough about it they just need support I've got really good support and I feel that people are even going to be shocked when they see this video. I'm probably 100% sure that most people in my life probably think it's just my thing. She just likes to do that because they haven't really questioned me throughout my life being in their life. They haven't really said to me, oh, you know, you do such and such, but I know I do this a lot. So maybe they just love me and say that's just her thing, whatever, it's not a big deal. But for some people, they really feel like you're taking the mic because it, it is essentially mimicking, isn't it? It's like if I was to speak to somebody and they're talking to me and they're, and they're getting trying to get their point across and I'm just like, you know, doing their mannerisms and, you know, talking like them or whatever, they're going to think I'm taking the mic. They're going to think that, you know, what are you doing? Can you just not do that? And it's really, really, really hard. I'm glad that I haven't come across somebody who's just like, stop it, don't do that, blah, 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 and make me feel su super bad about it. But like, it could happen. It could happen. I could be in a meeting with a very important person and they could have a very big personality that makes me feel somewhere in my mind that my personality needs to be like theirs. I now start mirroring and, you know, the conversation might just go sideways. Who knows? But it's just one of them things I wanted to talk about today and just get it out there that I do mirror people. I do have this effect, like it is a part of my condition. And I know there's a lot of people out there that also do this and also suffer with this situation. And just let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Like, what do you think about this situation? What do you think about the fact that it's something that you just not sometimes just not aware of it you know it's it's taken me a long time and sometimes I can go for a whole video talking in another accent 
doing all sorts of different um, gestures that's just not in my type of thing and I don't know and I've had to look back on the video and be like oh my god but you know what I'm gonna send it out anyway let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll get back to you has it affected you has it has it ruined relationships has it stopped anything from progressing in your life let me know but it's been your girl with Ruko Yamazaki here just know that you're all that anyone needs and your love because it's the truth and I'll catch you on another video bye